how do you create a roadmap for you to be able to get the stuff that you really want from life? Especially when you can't really go out shopping, you kind of stop doing it on the internet and the world seems to be closed in. Well, very simply, have you got a vision board? Let me explain about vision board. Basically, it's the opportunity to do it on your screen, to do it on your computer, to create all the things you want in life and stick them as images and words. So it's a constant reminder to your mind that these are the things that you're chasing. Now, it sounds bonkers and it sounds like, oh, you got a wish list. Yeah, well, that's never going to work. But there's a really strong science behind why it does work. Let me explain that to you. We've got a thing called a reticular activation system. Now, that's a lot of words and it's worth a lot of scrabble. But what that is, is a part of your mind that responds to the images that you program inside it. So remember, your mind is a supercomputer and it's always interested in the things that you give it. So when you consider how this works, if you put lots of images in front of you all the time, your mind will start to make a beeline and it'll start to make a, a, a short, a, a fast track towards those things coming to you as a reality. Let me put this in perspective. If you're a negative person and you stub your toe when you wake up and you run out of toilet paper or you run out of toothpaste, you're going to go, oh, the day's terrible. I've got none of these things. It's going to be a terrible day today. And your brain takes in, oh, therefore, the boss says it's going to be a terrible day. Let's look for examples of a terrible day. So by the end of the day, it is terrible. So you were right. Now, you know negative people that you avoid because they're always thinking like that. But if you can change it around and say, okay, I've got no toilet paper left, I've got no um, toothpaste, that gives me an excuse to go shopping later on. Perfect, so I can get some other stuff when I'm there, and it gets me out of the house. And that's a different spin you put in your mind. So the coding is very keen and very important. Now, what this reticular activation system does is it allows you to act like you've got a special forces team, a special security team working for you, and that will see your threats ahead of time that could be coming to you. It will filter out unwanted noise and distractions. It allows you to understand what's junk in your life and what is really important to keep. It allows you to keep on track for the goals that you're heading towards. And also, it will work subconsciously under the surface while you concentrate on just day-to-day -day stuff. So it's like having an antivirus on your computer. It's very rarely in front of you, but it's working in the background. Now, by creating a vision board, what this does is it programs that to start looking for you. So if there's a million different calculations that are going on in your mind, a large proportion of them are working on getting that vision board. And it might be something small, might be something big, it might be something you didn't expect to happen. But put this in perspective. If you walk into a nightclub in the days when we had nightclubs, and you're looking for your friends, and the music's blaring, bang, 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 the lights are really bright, and you're looking, you can't see your friends anywhere, then they shout your name. Dave, Ernesto, Catherine, Titsia, whatever your name is. You suddenly turn around and you go, ah, oh, there you are. Now, they weren't louder than the music, but your brain can distinguish through the sound waves, what am I looking for? What am I interested in? And that's how vision board works. So therefore, you put on it stuff that's very personal. If you want money, put money on it. If you want a partner, put the partner on or the kind of partner that you'd want on it. If you want to look great, put that down. Put the clothes that you want. Put down things that inspire you, and your brain will start working towards making that a reality. My old vision board, which I haven't included at this time, I found on it later on when I went on, on stage and showed it to an audience. I, there was a bit where there was a guy saying, if you, if, you, if you go with the pack, you'll end up being a leader. And it's got a guy with a dog. Now, my dog, Snow, wherever she is, probably upstairs, looks exactly like the dog that's on that. And on the same one, I decided I was going to go to the Maldives, put it on, I went three times that year. I put on the American flag, I fancy going to America. Before you know it, Ernesto and I are speaking at NASA in December at the end of the year. And there's so many things on there that are true. So there's my current one. This is there. Number one virtual broadcaster. This is what my brain is working towards. Why virtual broadcaster? Because that's the world we're in right now. I'm a huge fan of, of Barack Obama. I'd love to work with him. I want to work on my physique too. Awards, superheroes. You can see there some of the people I've worked with, Gary Vaynerchuk and Grant Cardone. It's a peer group all the late night TV show hosts. And if you look at that, that's what Ernesto and I are actually doing. We're stepping into that world of becoming seen and respected as talk show hosts, just like the people on that vision board. Now, has that happened by accident? Well, not really, but it's programming my mind all the time to 
to, to, kill, to color my decisions. So when I decide to do something, it's got a certain spin on it. Now, it's a very personal board, so I'm not going to spend too long just looking at that. But you need to put something together. Once you create your vision board, or even better, a vision video, then you can have it playing all the time. You can have it on circulation when, you can't, when you're um, as a screensaver. You can have it on your phone. You can have it printed out and put it up on the wall in front of where you study. You can have it on all your compu computers, excuse me, all your devices. Now, there's one step e even better than that. And here's something that I'm really good about, I really love. Oh, vision board, Beth and Brenda, it's brilliant. And my vision board last year was to speak on world stages and found Speak in Dubai and got to speak with you both. And we travel around the world, Brenda. Just goes to show how it works. Now, on vision boards, Ernesto, you haven't got one. Have you had one before? I have had them before. I, I have not uh, worked with it uh, recently, but I think it's something that I'm definitely going to be uh, focusing in. Uh, I have used them in the past. I mean, just bear in mind, my stories is actually very, how improbable my story is. I was born in Mexico, and uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to become an international speaker. I wanted to live in Europe. Uh, and uh, by using um, uh, vision boards, I managed to accomplish all those incredible things. I mean, I wanted to have a uh, Dutch uh, wife. I wanted to have two, uh, one boy and a girl. I wanted to have, uh, I mean, so many things that I have basically gotten out because of having clarity in my mind. And I absolutely believe that uh, vision boards are very strong. That's so powerful. I'm glad to hear that. There was an experiment done at university, and you can Google the actual facts of which university and which students it was done to. And they asked all the students, I think about 100 students, how many people have written down your goals? 3% had written down their goals that they wanted, what they wanted from life and what they expected to happen and what they're working towards. When they went back to those students 10, 20 years later, they found those three students had earned more money and created more success in their lives and the 97% of other students who hadn't written down their goals and were just aimlessly going through life, hoping that all the challenges around them would kind of get them to where they truly wanted to be. Now, there's one thing I would share with you, but most people won't know this. And there's a fascinating story behind it. I, I, read, I, I learned this the other day. There's one thing that's more powerful than writing down your goals. And I know we have a lot of life coaches and business coaches on this call watching this video right now. The one thing that's more powerful and will actually give you a result 10 times more likelihood of coming through is not to set goals. Instead, learn systems about how to get to your goal. It's brilliant and it really works. Vanessa, what do you think of that? Yeah. And, 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 and here's the kick. I, uh, the, the vision board, because your brain thinks in pictures, is a lot more powerful than actually writing your goals. And this is some because I mean, there's people that just write things, but that I mean, sometimes those goals are difficult for them to believe. However, your brain is looking at the picture, your brain will find a way. It's exactly your uh, vision board or your reticular activating system works in the exact same way. Like, uh, like if you will be, you know, flying in one of those uh, fighting jets, and you will have the screen, and you will actually be trying to lock down exactly where the airplane is. And the moment that it's locked, pow, it's just going to hit on that plane. <laughs> That's how it works. Absolutely. And, and Brenda McGuire has just shared with us. It was a 1979 Harvard study of a class of MBA program students and asked them if they'd set clear goals. And it was the 3% there who actually said that they'd managed to do it. And 13 had unwritten goals and 84% had no goals at all. And the end result was exactly that. When you looked at who managed to be able to do this, the ones who got the most success are the ones that actually wrote them down. They write them down in pictures. And there you go, 10 years later, 3% of them have managed to get what they wanted and they're worth more than everybody else combined. And what she's saying there is 13%, um, um, the exact 13%, I'm just checking on here, with unwritten goals, uh, were twice as much, right? The 13% the who wanted something um, had twice as much earnings as the 84% who had no goals whatsoever. And, and 10 times. So if you're looking at it, if you look at the makeup of the rich people in the world, I mean, okay, some people born into it and so on, but you wonder how to get from rags to riches. This is a really powerful way of doing it. And right at the beginning of the session, we talked about our friend Kanye West. 
who wants to now run for president. And whatever you think of Kanye West, he's in a position where he could well run for it and he could well win it. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's not an incredible thing because he puts it down. And if you, th if you listen to his story, he wanted to make music. He started creating beats for people. They start, he started to work with people like, um, what's the name of uh, Beyonce's husband? I've forgotten now. It just jumped out of my head. But anyway, he started creating beats for, for famous producers. Then he started becoming a rapper. People said he can't do it. He started rapping and being a top pop star. Then he started creating fashion. People said he can't do it. He started doing that. Then he created shoes. People said he can't do it. There's no surprise that he's been pushing himself further and further, regardless of your misgivings of it. Now, to put a final part on this for you, we've got a special gift which we've been offering to you for the whole week. And this is a brand new you. Now, for those of you who know that I'm a hypnotherapist, and that I do something very different with people. This is a hypnosis gift for you, but we're only going to give it to anybody who actually puts into a, into the comments something special. Now, and I'll tell you how this works. First of all, Anesta, what is it that we've got to write? What should we challenge them to write in the comments? Brand new you. If you write brand new you in the comments, if you are in Facebook, if you're actually watching the video in YouTube, uh, please make sure to also write down brand new you and uh, uh, in the in that whichever whichever uh, channel that you actually see this video, and we will get to see it. We will definitely make sure that we send you this uh, incredible recording. I mean, I tell you, Dave has such a soothing voice. Uh, it is very very nice, especially if it actually gets you into the trance of hypnosis. It is absolutely amazing, and I think it's an amazing gift. Uh, uh, Dave, once again, this just shows a compassionate person, and you're actually wanting to help as many. Uh, people as possible. Thank you. We, we see already Brenda. She has already written down brand new you. So we will <laughs> we will send it to you right away. Absolutely, it is done as well. Many other people have done it. And uh, well. so this is free for you right now. I will be charging at a later date because it's all part of the package. But for you right now, because of the the loyalty and the the family that we've created here, this is for you. My name is Dave Crane. We've never had a time where so many people feel so lonely, so isolated, so helpless, and so scared. Worried about their jobs, worried about their future, worried about their family, worried about their health. That's why I've created this audio. As a hypnotherapist, I've helped many, many people to create success in their business life, in their personal life, and in their emotional stability. Imagine being able to talk to the very best of you in the past, most successful version of you and getting them to advise you on how you need to move forward and being able to talk to a future version of you who's already lived through this and had the success that you could have dreamed of who's telling you what they did next this audio is designed to give you both of them as your mentors and to help you create a brand new you enjoy and please share with those who you know need it as well. My name is Dave Crane. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And Anesta, what? Why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch.